Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop this month in April. And I'm definitely excited because we got about 15 different releases and some of these might even be some of the best sneakers of the year. So let's go ahead and get started with sneaker number one. And that is the Air Jordan 11 Low Cement Gray. So these in particular, we talked about last month because yeah. we thought they were coming out and then release dates kind of changed. Right. So they actually ended up coming out today. People are watching the video a day late, but today is the first <laughs> of the month. So right. these just dropped. <clears throat> what do you think about these? Are these a cop or a drop? But definitely cop. Definitely a cop. Yeah, I like this shoe. I mean, you can't go wrong with this shoe. The color is clean to me. I mean, this is a clean shoe. It's a great summertime shoe. This is a sure. great shoe. I don't know what it's going to look like at a 14, mm -hmm. but those all whites I got in those that they don't look that big. The legend blue 11s. Yeah. yeah. They don't those, look that big. I don't like the way they did the toe on that shoe in particular, but that's yeah. a whole nother rant to go about. Yeah. But this shoe is really dope shoe. I think uh, in this type of situation, it's like, get the shoe for retail if not maybe even try to find a pair that's been like worn once or twice and you can mm -hmm. get it for like 140 bucks or something like that what is retail and, on this uh i don't know i think it was 180 or 190 that's bucks cool. i'm guessing that's still somewhere cool. around there it yeah. might have been higher i don't know but um yeah overall i think it's definitely a cop great summertime shoe yeah. but at the same time i wouldn't go crazy for it type situation just like I would, you know what i'm saying I I would probably go crazy for it. You probably could just find these at the store right now. But though. I wouldn't want to pay a lot over retail. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, I feel like the price reflects like, oh, it's a dope shoe. It sells out pretty yeah. fast pace, but not like crazy resale. Like it's right. accessible. Right. You can still rock it with a clean fit all times throughout yeah. the year. So yeah. I think that's a nice shoe. Yeah. So this next one right here is the Desert Berry. Now this is a kid's shoe. Uh, they do like youth sizes only and then women's sizes only men's sizes only family right. runs only so they have right. all the different sizes so this is an air jordan 5 low honestly if they came out with this in a men's colorway they would kill them it would sell it good yeah the other part is a, a parent if you get these for your kid right here yeah. they're gonna mess them up because they're the white the white but the white around your lip they're gonna be fly <laughs> they're gonna be flying those shoes them shoes look good yeah you know, but yeah, it's an all white shoe pretty much for a kid. They gonna tear that shoe yeah. up. Yeah. So I'm trying to see on the <laughs> outsoles in particular. Okay, it's kind of more of like a milky compared to like the yeah. icy blue yeah. translucent. Uh, you know, obviously it's gonna get dirty, but it's, you know, I don't know. I think. But it, I think that's good that they did that instead yeah. of translucent. I don't think they should have did yeah. I think it's good that they did it yeah. for it too. Yeah. But overall, definitely a really clean shoe. Gray for school sure. drop. Uh, these are coming out in a couple of days. Looks like the third. Anybody at Nike, if you ever see this video, they need to come out in size adult sizes and size 14. Yeah, I need a 14 on you that need a one. full round on those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, next up right here. So we've seen the golfs. Mm -hmm. we just, remember we saw the ones, we saw right. the different stuff. The only problem I had was what are they doing on the backside right here? They tried to give you that full look. Like it's wet. And no, that's just a picture. That, that can't be part of the it's shoe. It's on the shoe. That wouldn't be part of the shoe. That's on the shoe. Get rid of that. Look I it. thought it was like a photo just to like, oh, okay, we'll make it look like you could be out in the grass in the first morning do. No. And you messed it up. Yeah. You blew it. You was right there and had a great shoe. And blew like, it. So you know, like the maroon sixes, right? You got the maroon sixes. I got the maroon sixes. The OG right. colorway. It's not the exact same, kind of more of a burgundy vibe to it. Right. But at the same time, this is a really clean shoe. Like yeah. if this was our sneaker, low top Jordan six, or even a high it top. It would be Jordan dope, 6, but not with the shoe. little raindrops. But with the raindrops, drop top. Twinkle toe. Oh, no, no, just don't do that. What the? <laughs> <laughs> and they went ham on the heel. Yeah. Go back. They went ham on the hill. Just we did it now. Just keep putting it on there. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a Come rough one. On. So what? There's probably some story behind it. I'm assuming. It's, oh, I know what it is. What? It's braille. <laughs> <laughs> it's braille, so they can feel the shoe. Right there it is. That's what it is. They can tell what number it is. I'm sure there's some story behind it. The Bordeaux Jordan Six Golf. Um, yeah, I don't really know if I want to look no. into why there's a story behind no, it. No, that's way. that's not but worth it. Either way. Yeah, back to the drawing board. Yeah. They disrespecting the sixes, man. I love the Jordan sixes. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay, next up right here. So remember Jason Tatum? He introduced his sneaker at All Star right. Weekend, the Tatum Ones. This is his model. This is a color. And I said no. <laughs> I said he's a better player than this shoe. <laughs> Don't disrespect his name. Okay, I'm just saying. You're disrespecting the man giving him a shoe like this. Okay, so. 
<laughs> what models do you see in this shoe right here? Because I feel like it has a similar, you know the Jordan Those one low tops that we like? Tops. Yeah, I knew it. Like I knew that. you were going to say that. That's, so right here on the front end, on the top of the You can tell that shoe in it. Definitely kind of has that vibe still in it, mixing like Then the they bag. try to introduce some of the 20 versions yeah. of it. But at the same time, I they don't blew know, it. what's the retail on this shoe? Oh, it's 120 bucks. Okay, if it was like 200, I would've been like, oh, hell no. But if it's 120 bucks for a hoop shoe, in particular, an actual hoop shoe, this is a hoop shoe, not like a streetwear shoe, right? You really gonna go there? No, I'm just saying, for a basketball shoe. Yeah. Compared to paying $200 yeah. for like a shoe that you're gonna wear in the streets. Right. That's better, to say the least. Like, okay, if you like it or if you wanna try it. I would it never might, buy. It might be if good If I for came home with those for you to say, here, you gonna play ball in them. The hooping them, I would try them out. And then you go leave them on the, the rack. I tried the Zions. I've been trying other models. Yeah. Sometimes the stuff. How was the Zions? Man, they messed up my toe. No, see? <laughs> <laughs> but I tried it though. He said, man, they messed up my toe. <laughs> The top, the material on the top is too hard. There's no flexibility on it. So the shoe just gave me a black toe. <laughs> but anyways, okay. like I said, those are probably doing the same thing. There's an open, there's an open uh, market. Area. Yeah, there's an open market for people to get in the game for basketball sneakers right now. I will, so I'm open to trying out these different. I models. will agree with you and say, great, they came out with 120, but I'll see them at the uh, <laughs> at the outlet. At the outlet for 80. <laughs> I feel that. Okay, so we talked about these last time. The Skylines right mm -hmm. here. Uh, this resembles the iconic Air Jordan, you know, uh, Jumpman poster from back in 1985. Right. And then it had the Skyline <laughs> in the background. So they recreated that into the sneaker. It's got a dope box packaging, all the different things that go along with it. Uh, the story, great. Colorway, some people are on the fence. Me personally, I got to see how I feel when I get there and actually, you know, see the shoe and hold it in yeah. hand. I've seen it on feet before and it kind of looks cool. But... It all kind of varies on which angle no. because one shoe has got that kind of more like the peachy color on the yeah. top and the blue on the front. If it was all that blue, like the that blue, blue, the blue they would have killed it better. right there. Yes. They would have killed it. 100%. But they blew it trying to give it too many colors. If they would have uh, matched both shoes and they faded yeah, together, it would have yeah. looked, looked, looked fire. Yeah, they blew that. But that's what I'm saying because I've seen it from both angles. I'm like, uh, I don't know. But either way, I would be interested in copying that. I'm sure it's a pass for you. For sure. You don't want no size 14? No. Okay. Don't even. No, not for free. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Okay, so this one right here, where is this a men's or a women's drop? I can't. I tell. like that shoe. Okay, so this is an Air Jordan too. Two Low right here. I can't tell on the materials. What what is this made out of? But the colorway still kills me. It looks. Is it like a? I don't even know. What is that? It's kind of hard to tell because there's like a pattern on it. Right. And then the material, you it's can't like tell. It's like tweed is almost. Is it like leather or not? Is no, it mesh? It's like canvas. Is it like a like canvas? A, yeah. What is it? It might be a canvas material. It looks like a canvas material. Uh, overall, I think this is a clean, like universal sneaker. I know everybody's going with like kind of those like earth tone type shoes with the tans yeah. and the browns and the pinks and all the <clears> different <throat> stuff. So I could see that. For me personally, not a cop. I'm not really into this sneaker no. Uh, no. at all. But at the same time, it looks like it's a nice shoe. It don't look like it's a bad no, shoe. No, the design, all the shoe, everything the design is cool, but the colorway sucks. I think, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just all right for me. What is that right. bubblegum heel they did? Which one, on this one? Yeah. I don't know, did they put that on there? What, what is that heel? Hold on, let me see. Are you talking about the tan yeah, part? Yeah. On the back end? What is that? Right here? What is all this? Oh, this is normally <laughs> like a regular plastic piece. I don't have one of my Jordan 2s in here to show you what it is, but it's kind of like different. a plastic piece is all separated, but because they did the two tones with the colors uh, at the bottom, it looks just a little bit different because it's kind of okay. more like translucent looking. But Still not a cop. overall, it's just all one piece. Those would be at the outlet too. Okay, now these, the Jordan 1 Celtics, also known as, I think, Lucky Green or something like that. Uh, this shoe right here, these are clean. That's worth the cop. These are clean. That's worth it. Still limited on what you can wear with it, but at the same time, you but know, you know it's a Go black. Ducks type of vibe too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we wear these to yeah, a Ducks yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, so this shoe, uh, it's crazy because this shoe, I think <clears throat> some years ago, would have, because I did a review on these already, comparing mm -hmm. them to the old pack from back in the day, and it's way different in the materials and the cuts and everything. Yeah. But this shoe back then would have been like, not all the way back in the day, but maybe like four or five years ago, three mm -hmm. years, it would have been like booming popping like everybody would have been going crazy right now in current time 
they're they haven't came out yet and the resale market form already is like pretty low it's like low mid 200s really so that means when they come out you might see them sitting on shelves and different stuff like that well i would cop be those able to easily access this, the shoe. Yeah, this would be one you'd cop for so sure. i think i think this is a great <clears throat> cop for you know just pickups uh something that's going to be a little bit different splash of a different color in your collection the green pops it looks really nice again i've done the review i'll link it for you guys down below yeah i slap some white laces in but it. yeah this is a i hope they come with uh, multiple laces on uh, i think it does yeah it does i did the review i don't remember that it was a while ago <laughs> you did too many reviews <laughs> i'd be forgetting all the extra laces. you're like i did that i don't know <laughs> okay so we have another tatum one right here in a different colorway now yeah. see what? Okay, go ahead. What you think about these? Show me the shoe all the way. This colorway is clean. This right here, way better. It's a clean colorway. Way better. They gave him his name back right here. <laughs> it's the same shoe. <laughs> uh, for sure. But it's a different color. It, the color is so much better. Okay. This is way better. So this is giving you that kind of like that UNC vibe. Hey, I will cop these. I will want to get this So you shoe. were just going crazy, going ham on this shoe two minutes ago. And now you're like, oh, color. I'll cop these. Because the colorway is so much nicer. Oh, so if I came home with these, would you wear them? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah okay but that man they gave his name back you smell that what it smell like a little hype beast in you <laughs> <laughs> he got me did y'all see that he got me i'm like what's going on <laughs> oh he got me oh good oh. times oh, all right so he here right here this is a women's drop uh everybody's gonna be going crazy over these I've done a review on these in the past as well. Shout out to the guys over at Hearts for this one. Uh, but they did a really good job on the quality of the materials. There's a blue version, the men's version, and then there's yeah. like the pink version, the women's version. Definitely very, very grocery. similar between the two. Uh, but it's a nice shoe. A lot of people are going to love it. And I think this is one going to be one of those top sneakers for women having in their collection or rotation over the summertime. Yes. It's a great women's shoe. I don't think they should do it in men's. But it's it's not like a men's size. Yeah, it's not extended sizes, so we won't yeah. even be able to get it in yours. Yeah. Like it'll be fine. Uh, black Flint 13s. So you know the Flint 13s, like the blue, the classic, the OGs. So they're doing the black version. <laughs> These are so hard right Murdered here. Murdered out. These are so hard right here. These are nice. Like this is a must have shoe in your collection. Mm -hmm. To me, mm -hmm. like, you know, we, we mess with these. Mm -hmm. And for me, this is a must have shoe. I'm already looking forward to this. This is, oh, this wait. shoe is clean. Yes. I mean, it looked like they did really good on the, the whole shoe, like everything. You know, the funny thing is, I was just <laughs> listening to what you said for like the past 10 seconds right there. What? And I feel like you really didn't say anything. It did You're just everything. Like, this shoe is clean. Like, it's just so clean. It's, it's just, just clean. Uh, <laughs> No, because they did a really good job on it. They didn't mess up the shoe. It's fire. Now the question will come in, you know, when the shoe gets in hand, how's the materials, how's all this stuff. Nah, but nah. I think overall, based it on- It looked like the they changed the material more to that better suede. That kind of that. I don't know, we'll see. It looks like they we'll did see. a good job. We will see when the time comes. Hey. Either way, it's a cop. It's a cop. Okay. Those are for sure. Wait, so if you couldn't get them and you had to pay for them, what would you pay for them? Like if you had to pay over retail? Probably 250. 250. Okay, so that's just like a little over retail, you know? Retail is yeah. probably like 190, 250. Yeah, I go 250. Okay, okay. Well, if I hit up here for retail, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to sell them to you. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I still paid the 250 though. I'll be happy. <laughs> okay, so we talked about the Travis Scott's before. Now they said they pushed the date back. April 26th is supposed to date. It's supposed to be the date. It might be changed again. It might be 25th, 27th. I don't know. Either way, this is supposed to come out full family size run. So a little baby size, small kid right. size, and then uh, bigger adult sizes. Uh, the Olive Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. Gonna be one of the most hyped releases of the year. Yeah. All the supply and demand issues and all the other. I just classic. keep saying I hope they don't burn up his name. What the really well i don't know you know they always say oh this is the last one this is the last one and then yeah we get another one so it's clean it's a cop it's it's a clean shoe it's but it's cool. not to rush out to get to but me. it's it might be in third it's, to me it's in third or fourth when it right. comes to the four jordan ones that already came out oh i guess there's four of them that already came out so this might be fourth or fifth right. on the list when it comes to the top the five total I mean, they look like good materials and everything but again I'm not gonna rush out to say I gotta have them like that. So you're definitely not as excited about these as you just were about the Black Flint 13. I'll take the Jason Tatum blue ones over this. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
I'm telling you right now. You just went from not even liking the model, talking about they're disrespectful to his name, to now saying that. Yeah, he get that over to Travis Scott. You smell that? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, in the comments, y'all let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All let that. me know. <laughs> let me know if I'm right. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of that, stay what? right there. What? Because I just thought about it. You was talking about this shoe. <laughs> And remember in the comment section you were saying, this ain't gonna be, mind you, this is not for you. It's a size 13, because you said you didn't like these. You are, oh, I'll man. show the people, it's size 13, just for me. Hold on, let me get this thing back in focus. Okay, because we got to make sure we get his reaction for this one. You said these wouldn't be a top 10 sneaker of the year. I'm gonna, uh, let, you, I'm gonna let you hold it in I person. I did say that these ain't gonna be a top 10 sneaker of the year. They probably gonna be like running 11th or 12th. For the whole year. You still believe that? Yeah, this shoe is selling. People like this shoe. But the Jason Tatum's is better than this right now. Like the Tatum's is better than those? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> no, no. The Jason Tatum's ain't better than this. Ain't no way you gonna let the Jason Tatum be better than those. <laughs> this is better than the Travis Scott. Okay, those are just classics right This here. is better than Travis Scott. These is clean, in hand. That's crazy. This is a good looking shoe. Okay, so, all right. But, so in but the do shoe both of your shoes match? I've been hearing no, a lot mine about is, this. I look good. Mine I've been hearing a lot about the patterns not even matching. Let me show you. Let See, me show you. And I said that before they came out. First off, first off, <laughs> Tupac, you, in a, you claim. No, but uh, not every single pair is bad. That's what people do. They try to get the thing and run with it. All uh -huh. the pairs are terrible. It's not like that. I've been seeing a good not every, Look at my pair. My pair is clean. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, that. like I said, you said. Okay, I'll let him slide on these right here. You talked about these <laughs> in a size 14. Yeah. How do you feel about those in a 14? Do, do you want to tell the audience anything? Do you want those still? Do you I, not? I, what, what do you? I'm just so. Yes, I would love crazy. this shoe in a 14. I would. Only for retail. What? Yeah, for sure. I don't want to pay like way over retail for this. So you pay over retail for the black uh, Jordan 13s that's coming for out. For sure. Over these. For sure. If I had to get these for like 250, if they, what are they, like 220 or something? Somewhere around there for retail. So yeah, yeah you got them at 250, that's worth it. Okay. But but what I'm saying is. But you wouldn't pay like 400 for these or nothing like that. That's a lot, ain't it? I mean, I don't know. Oh no, what's the name of sell these for 500? That's what I'm saying. He was selling, he sold like 25 pairs. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know, I'm just asking. I'm just interested. I want to pick your no. brain today because this no, is very so, interesting. So listen, I'm gonna tell you this real fast. We're supposed to be doing release updates. In hand, this shoe is really nice. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In hand, this shoe is really nice. The leather is nice. They, they did a good. They did a good job on the shoe. These things are fire. What are you? They did. <laughs> I tried to tell you this before we did the review, but you didn't want to believe me. I was bagging on them shoes. I was like, come on. So do you want to take any of your old remarks back? This might be number eight in the top ten. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get this in the top ten. I'm a. I'm a retract my statement because okay. the in hand. Okay. And I'm gonna say eight. Hey, hello, you hear that? Hey, it'll make it in the top eight. In top, yeah, it'll make it number think, eight in I the think, top ten. I think we're talking to a big hype beast now. I'm just influencing them all. No, the I'm just seeing right like, now. in hand, it's, it looks good. Okay. The materials is nice. I seen all those shoes, but I didn't even take my time to look at them. I was like, I ain't looking at them shoes. They this trash. Living. Hey, hey. You thought they was messed up. That's why. All right, let's just keep it going. Cause okay, we back. We back. Those, Either way. Hey, if y'all got some. <laughs> <laughs> it is size 14, hit your boy. <laughs> okay, so Travis Scott Olive, mm -hmm. uh, it's a cop, but nothing but goes not crazy. But not a rush, yeah, no. But it has to be because it literally is gonna just- It's gonna go up in deal. price. Okay, so last shoe, the Wizard 3s. I did a review on these as well. <gasps> these is better than those! The Wizard 3s are better than oh, these. Oh, for sure! Look at this! Oh, yeah! No way. For sure. Okay, honestly, these could potentially be better than these <laughs> yes. if these match the same quality as these. They look like but it. But those Wizard 3s are not as nice as these. Even though people say there's quality control issues and da 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 da, the Wizard 3s aren't as good as these. Hey, the Wizard 3s. These, in, mark my words, these, mark my words, I will not retract my statement, okay? Right. At the end of the year, somebody can call me or whatever, and I will not track my statement. This. Shoe right here. The Wizard 3. Wizard 3 will beat this shoe 
throughout the year for the for the year uh, update. So, end of the year, this might be like three, four, five. You so know, like, these are number eight right now. Yeah. On so the list. this got to be at least a seven. We don't even know what else is in front of these. You're just not even gonna put them that high. They're not going to a team. Okay. I mean, they're and not the wizard threes mm -hmm. are up there for sure. Okay. At the end of the year, y'all hey, tell me I'm wrong. At the end of the day, buy what you like. That is right. the most important thing. Right. Always buy what you like. Always have oh, your own sure. love and opinions about the sneakers. That's just, that's the most important thing. It's your money. You wear them out. You do what yeah. you do. But what I'm saying is... <laughs> <laughs> These right here is killing those. Yeah. About oh, that. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> So yeah, it matches the Jordan uniform, oh, yeah. different stuff like that. It's a clean shoe. The little red eyelids on there. Yeah, they did a good job on that. Yeah, actually, it's like more of like a uh, kind of like a copper Orange color. Co so oh. it's not even red because the the true blue. Oh, well, threes, I'm a little You got now. the true blue threes right. with the Nike Air on the back. Right. So you got those, and then these. Yeah, but I don't know. Either way, those are all the releases. That's what we got for April. I hope you guys enjoyed this. You got any final remarks? We got to get out of here. Hey. Mark my words, this shoe's gonna beat that shoe. <laughs> At what? In the top twenty, top ten. Uh, we'll see. This shoe will beat that shoe in the top ten. Time will tell. Watch Time by the end of the year, y'all. Look, save this video and then send it back to us later. Okay. Well, my name is DJ. I'm signing out. And um, DJ's dad. That's my <laughs> name now. I don't even got a name anymore. I'm just DJ's dad. <laughs> Everywhere we go, hey, you're DJ's dad. I'm signing out. Love, peace, hair grease. <laughs> we go. <All> right. <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Plus in my DNA, hey, hey, the only hey, choice I like to make what I'm aware to do. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA